Cuban-born chef Alex Garcia is one of the founders of Nuevo Latino Cuisine, blending the flavors and ingredients and foods throughout Latin America. He's also a TV personality and cookbook author and, of course, a restaurateur. He is executive chef and partner of AG Kitchen, Amigos, and the Copacabana Supper Club, all here in New York City. Chef Alex Garcia. Welcome to The Dish. Thank you for having me. It's a real pleasure. What have we got here? What have you brought for us? Well, we did a, a quick array of all Latin American food. Uh, even though I'm, I'm Cuban born, I, I do love all the food from Latin America. We have, from Puerto Rico, we have pigeon pea rice. Mm -hmm. uh, today is uh, not only a, a, little, uh, uh, a little bit about food, it's about Spanish too. So this is called arroz con gandules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we have from Colombia, we have carimañolas. Those are... Uh, those great dumplings they made out with uh, fresh yuca, which is like a tuber, mm -hmm. like potatoes and stuff with cheese inside. So they're great. And uh, what are we drinking here today? We, should we are ask. drinking. Uh, we are drinking. This is a, um, a, a very refreshing uh, mojito that we do in a little touch of amaretto for the summer. is great. I have to um, hold up the picture because it's, it's sitting next to <laughs> me. It's lovely <laughs> and way too tempting. By the way. <laughs> and of course, with uh, it's a new it's a new rum that we are bringing into the Copacabana uh, family. Is a 1940 rum. Uh, it's a great blend. Uh, sipping, uh, it's, mm. it's, it's great for sipping, of course, great for mixed drinks, but um, it, the passion for it came from cooking with rum. It's something that I've been doing uh, all the. Let's take a sip. Yeah, let's. let's. <laughs> yeah, Goes I know. Because, very well early because the, in the rum morning, is also way. in the shrimp that we're having this yes. morning as well. Yes, it's, uh, it's really through, uh, you know, I've been cooking with rum uh, all, my, all my career, and then we wanted to do. Uh, kind of a great rum that is not only great for sipping, that would be great for cooking. Kind of like when you start with a steak that is great quality, you get a better product at the end of your meal. So we wanted to start with a rum that is just great. You uh, mentioned you, were, you came from Havana. When you, 11, you moved to Puerto Rico. But you, where did your cooking influences come from? I think it came from, from just being proud of being Latin. Right. I think uh, more than uh, the cooking part. Uh, I always was proud to be Latin. And, and, and the passion for cooking came, of course, from from my family and from um, uh, my, my grandmother was a, uh, the, the big chef in the family. My dad is, the, is still the chef, but he's just the showman. Uh, very little <laughs> cooking and, and then tons of, uh, very little cooking, but tons of show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, we do uh, the roasted pork is a big uh, tradition and mm -hmm. not only in, the, in my family, in every Cuban right. family. And you know, he, he cooks his for, if you normally would cook it for two hours, he will cook his for 20 hours just you know, <laughs> to make it up. Uh... But the show's important. <laughs> it is something we know well. But your degree I saw was actually in hotel and restaurant management. So when did you make that tra transition? Did you initially think I just want to be a restaurateur? Well, I wanted to be, I always wanted to be a manager. And then that was my, my, my true call to be in hotels and, and that kind of passion that, 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 that it kind of comes with you. And then I kind of noticed that the chef had all this, uh, uh, all this power over uh, kind of everybody. He was like the untouchable guy. You know, <laughs> you're a teenager, you're, you're, trying to, you're trying to figure out life. That's very enticing. So, so he, I, I said, let me put some cooking into, into my career. And then when, I, when we finished college, I finished college, I went down to Miami and I met with this great friend of mine. And we were both graduated from cooking school and, and we were both very proud to be Cuban. And we started this new, we were kind of like the first ones that did uh, Cuban food in a little lighter way, mm -hmm. fresher ingredients, mm -hmm. uh, new preparations. And we developed this thing that was called uh, Nuevo Cubano. Right. We were in this restaurant, legendary restaurant in Miami that has been there for 30 years called Yuca. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started with, uh, with this new Cuban thing. And then we started, we started traveling and that became Nuevo Latino, which we include all the countries. And, right. And it became kind of like a bit uh, between us and Ricky Martin. We kind of popularized, <laughs> <laughs> popularized so Latin. Light and so yeah. flavorful. Yeah, Chef Garcia, really we want to get your signature on this dish. And as I hand it over to you, I want to ask you, if you could have this meal with any person, past or present, who would that person be? I think I would like to have this with all the, you know, I would like to share this. I would, I would love to cook this in an orphanage, maybe in Latin America, and for all the kids down there to get to experience uh, what a great idea. All, the, all the food of their own countries and... and and the other countries of Latin America. That pick says a lot about you, Chef Garcia. <laughs> For more on Chef Garcia and the dish, head to our website at CBS This Morning.